Welcome to the video laboratory series presented by Thinking Out of the Beaker. Today we're going to take a look at an activity called Paper Bridges. In Paper Bridges we're going to build four bridge structures using index cards and we're going to change some design element in each one of those bridges to see what effect that has on the ability of the bridge to withstand a load. Let's just take a quick look at the materials and, and the type of bridges that you're going to build uh, with this little video clip. So let's just take a look at the materials we'll be using. We're going to use pennies as a load and each penny then we'll, we'll count uh, to see how many pennies the bridge can hold. Markers or pencils if you have them are going to be the bridge supports on either end. You need a ruler, some scissors and a pencil as long, as long as with um, some index cards in order to make the various bridges. So our first setup is will just simply be one index card suspended between the, the two supports. The second setup is that index card cut in three pieces and then suspended between the, uh, the, the two supports. The third uh, setup will be that same three pieces but we'll glue them together to laminate them into a beam and that will be put in between the supports. And then finally we'll take one index card and we'll fold it into a beam shape and suspend that between the two bridge supports. Now that you've had a chance to, to see what materials we're going to use and, and how we're going to build each one of the bridges, uh, we want you to, to try and answer this question then. How do design changes affect a load-bearing structure? Now remember you have four choices. You have the single card uh, suspended between the two markers. You have that same card cut into three pieces and then stacked on top of one another. You can have those three pieces then glued together and laminated into a beam. And the final choice is a single card, but it's been folded into a channel shape. So just take a moment now with your, with your group members and decide on which one of those four shapes of bridges you think will be best at, at, at holding a load, or in this case, hold the most pennies. And then make your prediction uh, on which one of those you think is going to be best. And once you've made your prediction, come up with an explanation with your group members as to why you picked that particular bridge. When you've done that, we'll, we'll start the video again and you can actually have a look at the uh, testing and see which bridge actually does hold the most pennies. So this is our first test then, back to uh, a single index card. So we'll place one index card across the two markers. And then we're going to use pennies, remember, as our counter. So let's start adding those pennies. And we'll add them one at a time. So we have one penny, two pennies, three pennies and the cards touch the table so we'll say that this bridge was able to hold three pennies. Our second setup we took the card and cut it into three pieces so just one card but cut into three pieces. We'll place those across the markers and again we'll add the pennies to the top of the bridge one at a time and here we go one, two, and three and again the bridge is touched down so we're going to say only three pennies again for the bridge with three pieces. Third bridge is three pieces again but this time we've glued them or laminated them together and we'll place that bridge across the markers and add pennies again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we get ten pennies piled across on the bridge this time before it fails. The final bridge, we didn't glue it this time, but all we did was take the card and fold it into a channel. So fold up the two sides and we'll place that across the markers. And then we will load the pennies in again. I'm going to cheat a little bit though. I'm going to load the pennies by stacks of 10. So that's 10 pennies starting on the bridge. And we'll add another stack of 10. So that's 20. Thirty. Forty. Fifty pennies stacked in the middle of the bridge. Sixty. And the bridge is still holding, no sign of bending or changing shape. Let's try a little bit more. Seventy pennies on top of the bridge. 
and it's just become too unstable to be able to stock the penny so we'll say in excess of 70 pennies for so let's just go over our results then and have a, a look at what we just found out so with the single card we were able to hold three pennies by cutting the card into three pieces but then not gluing them together we again held three pennies three pieces but laminating them so gluing the three pieces together changed the load bearing ability of the bridge and we were able to hold up to 10 pennies and then finally the best overall was the single card and folded into a channel shape and that in excess before our load just spilled over the edges was 60 pennies so you can see very clearly that changes in the way that we arrange those materials do provide a greater ability for that bridge to hold on to a load.